Welcome back. Thank you for watching my video. My name is Don Miller, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a BMI calculator using tkinter, and we're going to be writing the code in Python. I will be using Visual Studio Code Editor. You can use whatever code editor you prefer. This is a great video for beginners, intermediate stage uh, programmers. First thing we need to do is we need to create our folder. We do that by right clicking, going to new, type folder, and we're going to say BMI um, project. I'm going to go into Visual Studio Code Editor. Uh, <laughs> Visual Studio Code. I always add the editor part. My bad. Once you're in there, you're going to click on File, Open Folder, and you're going to select that folder we just created. Okay. Usually I will create a virtual environment, but for this tutorial, I'm not going to do that. So we're going to go to our BMI project. We're going to click the file and we're going to say, we're just going to name our Python file BMI.py. Now that we have created our Python file, now we're going to start writing some code. First thing we need to do is import our library, our tkinter library. So we're going to say import tkinter as tk. Once we've done that, we're now going to create our, create our class. So pretty much a class, what is a class? It is a blueprint that we use in order to create objects. And pretty much the best way I can explain a class is this. Say you have a car, and with that car you have different rims, the color of the car, the features of the car, the radio, the, the interior, all that. So the car is the class, but the features is the attributes. And that's what we're going to be adding to our class. So we're creating our BMI calculator. And in that class, we're going to be adding features or attributes that are going to um, make the calculator into what we want it to be. So we're going to say class, capital BMI, we'll see calculator and then we're going to say tk tk make sure that the second t on the on the uh, tk is uh, capitalized and make sure you put that colon now we're going to find our init we're going to initialize self Make sure you do not have a comma after self, colon. And whenever you're doing a class, whenever you're adding things in that class, it's always going to start with self. So we're going to say self.title. We're going to name this BMI in my calculator. And um, for those of you who are watching this video, I don't know what country you're in, but I live in America, so it's going to be in the imperial system, um, inches and pounds. We're going to say self.geometry. This is going to define the height and the width of the window for the uh, graphical user interface for our program. I'm going to say 400 by 250. Next, we're going to create our background. And we're going to have the background configure, and we're going to have it black. You can change it to whatever color you want, but I'm going to, for this program, we're going to do it black. And now that we've done that, we're going to create our wid widgets, which we're going to say self.create.widgets. Make sure you hit File Save often. And just make sure your code, uh, all the spelling, everything is correct. Now that we've done that, we're going to move on. Or now we're going to create our function that's going to define our widgets. So we're going to say define 
create digits. And we're going to say so. And what we're making now, we'll just make comments. We'll make a quick comment where this is going to be our labels. And so we're going to do the height, label height. First one, TK label. Create cell today, label. And we're going to start with self. Text. And we're going to have our text say height. And our height is going to be in inches. Make sure you put a colon. Next, we're going to dis, uh, we're going to create our foreground color. Our foreground is going to be white. And our background color, once again, is going to be black. So. Remember, Python is an object-oriented language. So with TKint or how it works, you give the layout or the blueprint for what you want. Then once you have that blueprint, you need to use the pack feature or the pack function, which is going to say, okay, now that we have the layout for it, display this on the screen. So we're going to say label underscore height pack. I'm going to use a pad Y of 5. Next, we're going to move on to our weight. So we're going to say label weight. Say equals TK label self text equals weight. This is going to be in pounds. Make sure you have that colon, and then we're going to move on to our foreground color. Foreground equals white. Background equals black. And then once again, we gave the layout for what we wanted. Now we need it to be displayed on the screen. We'll say label weight dot pack add y equals five. Okay, uh, go over this. Make sure that everything's spelled correctly. Make sure you have your commas because these are important. If you do not have the commas that separate each uh, line of code, then it will not work properly. Make sure everything's spelled right. The syntax is very important. Now that we have that done, we're going to entry, uh, enter our widgets. So we'll make a comment that says, this is for entry widgets. We're going to say self height entry equals TK entry. So we're creating our widgets where we can enter our height and enter our weight, things like that. I'm going to say self background color equals white. So in the white, where we're going to be typing in our weight, our height, things like that. Now that we gave it, gave it the layout, now we need to um, display it. You will see me repeating a lot of things a lot in the video because I believe um, repetition, explaining something over and over again is the best way that we learn. Now that we have that, we're going to do the same thing with the weight. Self weight underscore entry. And we're going to say equals TK entry, make sure that E is capitalized, say self, comma, background color equals, and then we're going to have it in the white. Now that we 
wrote it out, the layout what we want, and now it needs to be displayed. So we're going to give the instructions to display it on the screen once again. Add y equals 5. Okay. Over the code, go over that block of code, make sure everything is uh, correct. It's very important that everything's lined up how it needs to be on, on the screen because if you have this in the wrong column, you know, it can cause an error with the program. Indentation is important when it comes to programming and coding, things like that. So now that we have that done, we're going to move on and we're going to create our calculate button. So we'll make a comment that says create calculate button. And we're going to say calculate button equals TK capital B for button. And then we're going to do our parentheses, self, text, equals, calculate, EMI. So now that we have our text saying on the button, we want it to say calculate BMI. And now we want the command. We need to create the command that when we click that button, it will calculate the BMI. So you can say command self dot calculate BMI EG for background equals white and the foreground color. You can make sure you put the comma foreground color equals black. And then once again, we gave the command for what we wanted. Now we need to give the command, or we did the layout for what we wanted. Now we need to display it. And we do that by packing it. Calculate button. Pack. Add y equals 10. I want to show you something. That's why t is are so cool, because like, once you get the concepts and the fundamentals down, it's pretty much the same thing for everything. You see, we, we have our label height. We um, set that up with the label, and then we go self, text, foreground color, background color, then we pack it. Layout, pack it. Same here. Do the layout, pack it. Layout, display it. And pretty much once you get those concepts down, you know, uh, you'll be able to build a lot of cool things. So now that we've done that, now we're going to create our result label, which is going to display our result label, or which will display our result, letting us know what our BMI is. So we're going to say self.result underscore label equals TK label self text equals and the reason why we're leaving that blank is because we want that to display whatever the result is for whatever information we put in up here. So whatever information we put up, put in here, the program will calculate it and it will display the result based on the information we put in. So we just want the quotation mark so it, it prints out as a string. Foreground color will be white. background color will be black. And now that we have that set up, we just pack it. Display, if, if you just remember this, and don't get me wrong, remember a lot of other things too, but layout, which we gave the blueprint for what we want, then display it on the screen. Add y equals five. Now, let's, uh, we're, I know we're kind of moving a little fast. Let's go over everything, make sure our syntax is good, make sure everything's lined up how it should be, make sure that you know your spelling's correct, everything's matching up good. Once you do that, go to File, Save. Now that we've done that, now we're going to create our define, our, our define function for the calculate BMI. So now we're going to say define.
So the find calculator BMI itself, and we're going to do the try, the try function. So we're going to say height equals float. Self dot height entry git. Another thing that's cool about Visual Studio Code Editor, like if you hover, well, hold on, we got an error right here. It says height equals self dot height underscore entry dot git. Okay, that's probably the reason why we have that error. Sometimes it does that. It will read like the code is incomplete because I haven't finished uh, finished writing everything else for that block of code. So I'll write this out, then I'll explain it a little bit. Entry by kit. But anyways, like I wanted to show you, I'll finish writing in a minute, but like if you hover over certain things like it will like it will let you know what it is. You know what I mean? It'll give you like a definition, like I don't know why it's not doing it right now. Like see if I hover over class. Yeah, it's not doing it right now. I don't know why, but it'll usually in Visual Studio Code Editor it's cool because like it will it will like um display the definition of whatever you're hovering over. So it's really good to re uh, for reference. So we're going to say BMI equals, this is the formula for BMI. So it's weight divided by height, the power of two, times 703. Make sure we have that right. And down underneath, we're going to say result equals F is a format format string, so it's going to display do the format string because we want it to display partially what we write, and then we want it to display partially with the uh, the other part what the result is of um, whatever your BMI is. So we wanted to say your BMI colon. And then this is the the part where in the curly bracket where it will display your BMI is whatever the result is. So say BMI colon to F. And let's let's look at some real quick because we have this red flag here. Let, let me just make sure everything's good. BMI equals weight divided by height to the power of two. Okay, that's correct. Oh, we need to space this out a little bit. And then result equals F string format. Your BMI, then BMI. Oh, make sure you have a period before that too. Okay, that should go away once we write our other lines of code. Now we move on to our if, elif, if else conditional statement. So pretty much if pretty much how it works, I explain it in all of my other videos and I have a I'm not the best at explaining this, so forgive me, but pretty much it controls the flow of how the program's gonna go. So it's if this condition is met, then this will be done. Else if if the if statement or the if condition is not met, then it will go the other route, which is the else route the else statement. So we're going to say if BMI is greater than less than greater than okay my bad is less than 18.5 we're going to say status equals Underweight. I'm going to go to LF eighteen point five is less than or equal to less than or equal to MI twenty four point nine colon and it's going to say status. equals 
wait. And we're going to go to LF twenty five less than equal to MI less than twenty nine point nine colon status equals and we're going to say overweight overweight okay let's stop right here for a second let's go over everything make sure our syntax is correct we want to make sure everything is spelt right See under make sure you have your colons, your less than, greater than sign. Okay, now that we have everything good, we will now move on to our else statement. Oh, make sure that status is spelled correctly. Status overweight. Now we're gonna move on to else. Come on. We're gonna say Else, I'm going to say status equals obese. Make sure I have double quotation marks. And then now we're going to do result. Result plus or equal to that format. So now we're, we're having our status and how we want our status. Man, I keep spelling status incorrectly. <laughs> there we go. So this end function right here makes the status print on a new line. So it's, it's so pretty much it's going to display beneath, um, you know, what we put in for the height and what we put in for the weight. Status, and we're going to say accept. Make sure you're over here in this column, except value error colon and the result equals invalid input. Invalid input. Please enter valid numbers so pretty much what's going on here if we don't put in valid numbers that don't line up to how our program set up then it will display an error message saying you put in valid numbers then please enter valid numbers and now we're going to move on and we're going to say self dot result label config text equals result. So this is our result label where it will we are now saying display the result of whatever the information we put in according to the program. Now that we have that done, now we need to create our our main loop which allows our program to function or run. So we say if name equals is equal to main that's what double equal sign means. It means if the name, if this is equal to this, then run this. So we're going to say app equals B M I calculate app main blue. And we're going to hit file, we're going to hit save, and now let's run it and see what we got. Okay, line 57. Let's take a look at line 57. That's what we just did. Hmm. It says line 57 at dot main loop missing one required positional argument self. 
Why would I put self there? That doesn't make sense. Yeah, that doesn't make sense. Okay, let's take a look here. What are we, what's going on? So self except if name equal to main colon app equals BMI calculator at dot main loop. Okay, I'm going to pause this video. I'm going to see what the error is, and then I will be right back. Hey, I'm back. Sorry about that. So I figured out what the issue was. Very small, but you see, like I, I said before, it's those small issues that can just mess up everything. So if you go up here where I have self.create widgets, well, before I had the underscore, I had self.period widgets. And watch, I'll show you. When we run it like that, doesn't work. So what we need to do is we need to go shift underscore, and then we're going to hit play. Another thing too that I noticed that was an issue, because the main issue we had was down here with the BMI calculator, if I remember correctly, I did not have the parentheses right there. And that's where we were getting the whole missing one required positional argument self. So it's those little things right there you have to pay attention to. So now that we have that up and running, let's run our program. So let's come up with a height. Let's just say 70 inches. And let's say weight, we'll say 200 pounds. 70 inches, if I remember correctly, I think it's 5 foot 10. I could be wrong. Don't quote me on that. On that, But you see it says your BMI is 28.69, status overweight. Now let's say 70 inches and we'll say 145 pounds. It says your BMI 20.80, status normal weight. I hope you guys enjoyed this program. Once again, sorry for the hiccup. Hit that like button. Subscribe to my channel. Leave some comments below. You have a good day. Thank you for your time.